hearty good morning to all today i am going to tell you the story of sinbad the sailor so turn page number 67 before going on an adventure let me introduce sinbad the sailor to you sinbad the sailor is one of the greatest fiction from the novel the arabian nights sinbad the sailor is well known for his seven voyages as his adventures among these we would know about the second voyage of him today this story is about sinbad the sailor a merchant the hero of the story cycle of middle eastern origin it is authorized by marcia williams it is said that sinbad had become bored with his easy life in baghdad so he sailed for the second voyage in this voyage who were with him where have they gone with whom he met and later what happened to him everything we would come to know through this story before originating the story let us have some talkings about the characters in this story we have five characters first sinbad who is a sailor and an adventurer second crew who are the shipmates of sinbad third a bird who helps sinbad fourth serpents who are at the foothills of a steep mountain fifth a merchant who is waiting for his luck so let's start the story sinbad and his shipmates sailed on for the voyage it was sinbad's second adventure as they sailed a few days later they viewed an island they sailed close to it the island was uninhabited but of great beauty sinbad and his shipmates landed on the island on the island sinbad got a mind blowing natural spot for resting the soft and cool wind from the trees and the stream made him sleepy he rested at the foot of a tree on the other side his shipmates left the island without sinbad when sinbad awoke he saw that the ship had already left the island he thought the life in baghdad was better than this i should have not left my comfortable life behind this voyage now sinbad was all alone in the island there was no human except him it was a strange place for him so he started exploring he climbed up a tree and looked around from there he viewed an enormous white object you know sinbad was curious he wanted to know about that strange white object so he climbed down and went in search of it it was a gigantic doom white and shining he thought that he must find the way to get into it so he was just to reach the doom suddenly the sky became black and he saw monstrous bird approaching swiftly through the air later the giant bird landed over the egg and went off to sleep now sinbad got an idea he took off his turban and tied himself securely to one of the bird's feet the next morning the bird awoke and with a loud cry it flew up taking sinbad aloft it landed on a rocky plain sinbad quickly untied himself and ran to a safety place he saw the giant bird pouncing an enormous snake and flew back across the sea after the bird's departure sinbad realized that he was at the foothills of a steep mountain 
he started wondering. Something was there on the ground that made him unable to walk. Suddenly, he saw serpents and a lot of diamonds. He was trotting on some of the pieces of diamonds. You know, Sinbad was not only curious, he was a brave and mighty sailor. Getting a fearful sight of the serpents, he didn't fear. He had heard of the valley of serpents from the others, but today he had himself landed on it. He remembered the merchants who had been telling about the same place where Sinbad was landing. The matter was that the merchants would throw the carcass of animals down so that some diamonds would stick on them when the birds flew up with the carcass. And then they would scare the birds away and retrieve the diamonds. Sinbad recalled this matter and got an excellent idea. He filled his pockets with diamonds. Then he crawled beneath the carcass of the animal and tied himself with his turban. Next moment, without delay, a huge vulture came and flew up with the carcass. There were some men on the mountain top who scared the vultures away and looked for the diamonds on the bottom of the carcass. They were sad when they not had a single view of a diamond in the carcass. Sinbad gave some of the diamonds from his side. At last, he told his tale to one of the merchant. The merchant and his companions treated him to food and wine. The merchant told him that he was lucky to meet Sinbad. And this was the end of Sinbad the sailor's second voyage. Thank you.